Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome to our Hems villain origin story. I am very, very excited to get into this part of cottage living. Oh my goodness, no, extinguish that. How is there a fire in the freaking shower? How does that happen? Betty, her magic went wrong. It is all good. Okay, that wasn't the star I was expecting when it came to The Sims 4. You're just gonna get in there? You're just gonna get in the burnt shower? Yes, because this makes perfect sense. Valid, Betty. What the heck? Replace that bad boy, please and thank you. Holy smokes, I... I know I said this was gonna be the villain origin story, but like I had everybody's interactions queued up. I was feeling on it. I was feeling organized and lo and behold, my Sims have just screwed me over. What the heck was that? What was all of that for? Seriously, did you just need some attention? You have it. Anyway, as I was gonna say, this also feels like my villain origin story because I've decided to sit down for recording in denim jeans during lockdown. Well, technically we're not in lockdown, but you know, what's the whole like world pandemic thing that's still going on? So don't ask me why. Please don't set it on fire. Betty, I swear. I had Betty learn some practical magic off screen. She now has no Repario, which basically fixes things. And she also knows scrubberoo which basically cleans things you know the the household the household chores basically the things that you never want to do so you may as well just use magic to do it and why this is our hen villain origin story is because thank you cockerel i didn't realize that it was already 8 p.m you were a little bit late on the uptake there but it's it's fine you know what you are doing your best rocky Oh no, Rocky is an elder. <gasps> I'm gonna have to try and like feed a treat to Rocky to age him down a little bit. But we actually got gifted with a midnight treat from a rabbit. We could sell it for 435 simoleons, which is pretty incredible. I honestly might start making these and sell them in our cafe if we're allowed to. And with this midnight treat, we can get ourselves an evil chicken. Honestly, Bunty is giving me evil chicken vibes. It can't be Ginger. Oh no, there's a fox. James, get over here and shoo this fox away, please. I think Rocky is currently the only cockerel that we have because I was like, there's no point having like extra cockerels. Like they all do the same thing. Like the clue is very much in the name and we only need one of them. So I'm hoping that Bunty is actually gonna eat this. We're gonna offer the turns chicken into an evil chicken. This is so exciting. You lot know how much I have wanted to do this. And big thank you to everyone one who helped me get this treat because I was asking like how do I get the evil chicken one how do I get the rainbow cow one and you all let me know that it was basically your chances were increased if you were really good friends with the animals that you can gift so a rabbit ended up gifting it to me and don't touch it Fowler go away <gasps> Oh my god, it has flames for eyes. This is the first time I'm seeing it in real life. I've seen screenshots of it. <gasps> it has flaming eyes. Why is it looking at me like that? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Oh my god, and it has like a blue color to it, like a blue tone to its wings. This is so sick. Are you kidding me? <gasps> Ask for evil chicken help. Wait, what was that? The egg that was incubated is ready to hatch. Heck yeah, get on over here. We are gonna hatch those eggs. Evil hen. Can I rename her? I still want her to be called Bunty. Just cause she's evil. I love this. I love an evil origin story. This is incredible. Please be a hen. I will sell you off if you are not. 
That sounds really harsh. Oh, I don't know if I talked about this. I bought some birds. So now the birds are helping us out with our garden. They actually eat the flies on your garden, which is really nice. Very, very helpful indeed. So if you enable gardening help with the rabbits, they just like pick the weeds for you. And then if you enable gardening help on the flock of birds, they eat all the flies for you. So very handy to have indeed if you uh, have the money for it. Speaking of having the money, we're actually gonna get some errands done. I'm actually really, really excited for this because it just leads us straight back into the meddling. Cottage living is all about getting up in your neighbor's business and I, for one, am here for it. So we have to visit the Creech Keeper anyway to give him the fox report. Obviously, James spied on some foxes for him, but we also have to go and deliver the rose. Oh, we need a single serving of food. James is absolutely not the cook in this household. So let's see how this is gonna go. We're gonna take a Yorkshire pudding. We're gonna take a single serving. He is from Yorkshire. <gasps> Augusta, hey James, I think I can join Cross Stitch Lovers. I know it's exclusive, but I'll totally fit in. Do you know why she's asking this? So basically I played a little bit off screen and I decided with the flirtation ship, I don't want to call it a relationship because I don't think either of them are there yet. Obviously Betty in the past has tried super hard to hook Augusta up with Inez and Augusta has been so up for it. Augusta has like tried to flirt here, there and everywhere. It's very cute. It's like a little schoolgirl crush and I really, really ship them together. Inez is still kind of on the fence, I feel like, but they did actually decide to be roommates. So they've actually bought their own house in the Bramblewood. We're actually gonna cook dinner for them tonight. We're gonna go over to their new place, have some celebrations with them. But we are gonna accept Augusta into Cross Stitch Lovers. I know we haven't done a lot with Cross Stitch Lovers and I do wanna start focusing on it more. James is actually only a level two in cross stitching. I think you can only be a level five from what I remember of like play. I feel like I played Cottage Living more in early access than I played Cottage Living in this Let's Play. It's false, but because I was like playing it so much, like it feels as if I just played it more. So we already have our rows. We also need to collect four grocery orders. So we need to go to town and ask around the village. We need to deliver the single serving of food to the grocery owner. Oh, not to the creature keeper. <gasps> but that's quite cute because it's like he's made her a Yorkshire pudding. I want to take Marjorie with us because I know that Marjorie like in her heyday, oh I miss my heyday family. I might do like a little series where I just pop in on my old families, like my old save files. If that's something you would like to see, let me know. Um, and just like do like weird, weird things with them. <laughs> that sounds okay. I need to be more specific. I mean like just like one-off little like maybe challenges or something like that I don't mean like let's physically get weird with my old sims 4 saves. Please don't let your Imaginations run wild with you. She was definitely a little Matchmaker and so I want to bring her along and be like look this is this is what we're gonna do You're gonna help me with this. We need to give a rose to this man. It's off the grocery delivery woman. No, the grocer. The lady. Kim? Kim is her name. All right, he's hiding something. We are gonna deliver that rose. A blossom of beautiful color and lovely aroma. He's either looking for something or hiding something. I want to kind of check when he leaves, like if we can find anything. <laughs> She's like, why are you gardening? Marjorie doesn't like gardening. It's still, it's still really bad on her back, which is why she doesn't like it. Ooh, give Creech Keeper's regards and mushrooms. This is a beautiful flower, but I'm left wondering if the grocery owner has incorrect notions about us. Give them my regards and oh, 
let me give you these charming and verdant mushrooms to take to them as a way to return the favor. They can be a gift or not. I'll leave it up to you. I don't want to send the wrong signals. Excuse me, sir. I was in your corner. I was defending you, Michael. I was like, he's just a sweet boy. Like, he just wants to find love. In this economy, you can't be so picky, okay? Like, Kim quite literally offered you a rose. That is a romantic gift, for sure. And Cecilia doesn't even want you. So like, why are you all hung up on Cecilia? He's gone down in my estimations. We look like we're matching in our outfits. Yes, I am wearing my, my Betty jumper. Thank you very much, Taylor Swift. Amazing merch. I'm very annoyed at him right now. He's not my favorite person. I don't think I can continue to defend you if I'm being quite honest. That is, damn. What was hidden under there? Some green peppers, some bell peppers. Okay, little bit weird. Let's hide. Hmm. We will hide. This one has definitely a date on it. It only has like, it expires in one day, but we'll hide that free delivery coupon. You'd be so pissed, wouldn't you? If you found that and it had like already ran out of time. I would be, I would be like, oh my God, that's such a sick idea. But like, why is it expired? This is what I actually needed, okay? Right, considering the romance is over, maybe Marjorie was like our bad luck charm. Maybe we shouldn't have brought Marjorie. I feel like anyone that Marjorie tried to get together, she definitely thought that she was playing Cupid, but I feel like she, uh, she definitely brought some bad vibes to it. Like she just didn't have the best look, you know, choosing her victims. I tried to trick myself into believing that decaf coffee was regular coffee because I've run out of regular coffee and I'm super tired. So I was like, hmm, can I trick my brain into thinking that this decaf coffee that I am drinking right now actually has caffeine in it to give me a boost? My sleep schedule, Mercury is absolutely in Gatorade, my friends, because I cannot sleep. Or even if I do sleep, I'm still so tired. Give regards and mushrooms, give regards. So we can just steal the mushrooms. That feels very, very harsh. Obviously I'm gonna give her the mushrooms as well. Can we do anything like romantically? Can we be like, hey, here's this romantic gift from the Creech Keeper? No, that's harsh on Kim. I don't wanna string her along. I actually like wanna tell her what's up. I, I don't like Michael anymore. Is that bad? I feel like that's quite bad. I love Kim. I wanna protect her. She's such a little cutie. How can you not love her? James is like, yeah, it's for you. It's off him. He sent, he sent charming ones as well, which is like quite flirtatious. Oh, I knew I could count on that creature keeper. Mushrooms and a charming mushroom, no less. I can certainly take a hint and I do appreciate your help and discretion in all of this. No, we're helping to lead Kim on. No, this is so sad. Agnes is also over here. Oh my God. How many of there are you now? Like there's just Agnes clones all over Henford and I don't know what's going on. I'm low on eggs. Put me down for a few. All right, you got it. You are being written in James's invisible notebook. <laughs> Let's go collect the grocery order from Lavinia. We still need to stir the pot between her and Rami. I want my little gays to get together. Together, you know, I'm also low on eggs. Damn, what's going around? Why is everybody low on eggs? They all want eggs? I'll need at least a dozen more eggs to fill these orders. Can you go and find them for me? Hey, it's a good job that I have a bunch of eggs at home that are definitely not being used right now. I know my wife owns a bakery. <laughs> And really, realistically, the eggs should be being used for the bakery, but we're mainly selling condiments currently at the bakery. I do absolutely love the errand system. I think it's great, but there is a lot of like toing and froing, isn't there? Like you really gotta go back and forth. Right, Fox report time. It fills me with joy to see you bonding with the local wildlife and giving them attention whilst I was busy elsewhere. Please enjoy this assortment of odds and ends I 
scrape together to show my appreciation. I don't want your appreciation. You know who does want your appreciation? Freaking. <gasps> We don't have a llama. He gave me a freaking, ooh, 450 simoleons though. I hate that that jumper literally costs more than a llama. Finding love in a small town is always a bit tricky. Well, you played your part and for that, I thank you. It's back to the shop for me whilst I plan my next move. I just want to snuggle Kim. I just want to tell her that everything is a-okay and like the creature keeper does not deserve her. He's old and smelly. He definitely smells like llama spit and mushrooms, which is not a nice smell, okay? <gasps> an upgrade part for an animal shed, livestocking up. I need to restock the grocery shelves a bit and I hear that you've got a bit of an animal connection. Would you mind tracking down something for me? Boo yeah, I can do that. Deliver two bundles of white wool to the grocery owner. Heck yes, okay. That's fine, we can do that, but we're gonna go home and when I'm gonna get these two prepared to head on over. So this is actually where they're living. So they're really, really close. I unfortunately think the two old men that lived here have actually passed away, which was very, very sad. But I mean, amazing for these two. I will say the house isn't exactly what I want it to be right now because obviously I wanted to record this video and I didn't just want to spend all afternoon and evening designing their house. I do want to do that at some point though. Even though Inez is like, very down to earth and I would genuinely trust her with my life. I do feel like she has a little bit of a bougie energy when it comes to owning things and like where she lives. Augusta definitely doesn't have that. Inez absolutely does. Okay, we are gonna make, we need something that's also lactose free. So we'll go for the pasta primavera. You are not gonna eat that, James. You're actually just gonna look after your needs. Put that back, put it back, don't take it. I was gonna put it back in the fridge and now I can't put it back in the fridge because you've definitely just got like piss particle. <laughs> Why did I say that? James, put the plates of pasta down. Why are you like this? Why do you have two spaghetti piles? Oh my goodness, now Betty's eating? You're all the worst. I hope I've created a large portion here. <laughs> because we're screwed if we're not, because Betty already took one. Okay, we have seven servings left. So we're gonna go knock on their door. <gasps> this house is stunning. Are you kidding me? They have little fox, oh my goodness, they have little fox windows. That is so stinking cute. This is gorgeous. I can imagine that like, Inez over here, like pra practicing her lines and things like that. So this is the house. Like I said, they've like changed up some of the soft furnishings. Like they've reupholstered this to be like a pink color. They eventually want this like living room to be pink. Well, Inez does anyway. I don't really think Augusta has a say in that. They have also done up the kitchen. So it's like this blue color, but they haven't like done the dining table or anything. Obviously I did say that Augusta was in the computer engineering career. So obviously she does have to work on her robotics. So she's got like this little garage sort of work shed over this side of the house, which actually came with the house. It was already pre-installed, not the robotics thing, but like the handiness table was already here, which is very, very cute. So it was kind of like made for them. Where are they both? Augusta is over here playing chess by herself, working on her logic skill. Why, whilst Inez is probably out here looking for roles or something on the computer. Absolute cuties. I do love how sometimes in The Sims 4, like they really will just like show off your, uh, your Sims assets. Grab a serving together. Everyone's gonna eat their pasta. We bought a nice hearty meal for the girls. This is cute. Oh, who's gonna get relegated? Oh. 
Okay, so Augusta has uh, come to sit with her and Marjorie. We're gonna gush about our partner. You know, we're friends now, but we like to remind Augusta every so often. We're gonna give some family advice as well. What are you two doing over here? <laughs> We're gonna try and get to know. These two definitely have become a little bit closer, James and Inez. I still don't think Inez fully trusts James at all, so we're gonna tell a little inside joke. Ooh, Inez is feeling flirty. We're gonna gossip about the new neighbors. Why, why, why do you have the woohoo heart? What is happening here? What is this conversation? Augusta tidying up. Did she just... <laughs> she didn't tidy up my Nessa's plate. Oh my goodness. Absolutely. Swerved. Oh my god. Can we have like a... Oh, do you not have a TV? I was gonna say, can we have like a cute little movie night? But they do not have a TV. Inez would absolutely get rid of this photo and be like, okay, we're gonna take this down and we're gonna have a TV up on the wall. She loves films. We are gonna watch, what do I not usually watch? The Adventures of Spaceship Simulation. I feel like this was Augusta's choice for sure. Augusta was like, can we, can we maybe watch a sci-fi? I feel like Inez always gets to choose and she always puts on the classics. Like she is a huge Lizzie Bennet fan and she loves like Pride and Prejudice. Like that's like her dream role. Where is that? Augusta really isn't about that. Augusta is like a Star Wars kind of gal, but Inez is always like, no, we are not watching Star Wars. Absolutely not. <laughs> Come see your little butt down, get comfy. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Why is she feeling flirty? She's always feeling flirty. I don't even know why I'm questioning it. I was gonna say, unfortunately, we haven't got around to making a little love potion for these two yet to kind of seal the deal. Betty, you were legit just gonna ask her about her love life and then you just tell her to shut up? Betty just shushed her so aggressively. Like the spit definitely flew across the room. This isn't even your house. Augusta isn't even shushing her. And Augusta was the one who wanted to watch. Augusta is very into it though. She hasn't taken her eyes off it whatsoever. James and, oh, uh, never mind. She, okay, she's walking off. I thought she was super duper into it, but apparently not the case. We're gonna ask about her career. We'll see how it's going. We're also gonna express our admiration. I think it's so cute that they're now roomies together. They do have their own separate rooms. Don't worry if we actually go, oh my goodness, I keep hitting the wrong thing. This is Augusta's room over here. And then this, this is currently Inez's room. I don't know. I don't know if Augusta will ever pluck up the courage to maybe ask to move rooms. I feel like it's just gonna be one of those things where if they get like drunk at one point together, like they'll have like a wine and cheese night and then they'll just end up like sleeping next to each other and then the next morning be like, oh, I actually like, slept really well next to you. Should we just like start sleeping next to each other all the time? And that's just how I feel like their relationship is gonna go. Why are you talking about fish? That is the least sexy thing you could possibly be talking about right now. I really wish that you could go and see someone perform. I wish that like, if they were an actor, like obviously I love the active career, but I do really, really wish that like you could go see them on stage and like leave a little love note for them or something like that. Oh my goodness, did I just come up with a get famous refresh idea? That would be so cute, like theater and stage. Anyways, I am gonna wrap up this part here. I hope you all enjoyed. I am getting back into the flow of recording Cottage Living. I feel like when I switch games up on the channel, like, 
there's a different like skill set between commentating The Sims and then like Life is Strange. Obviously with True Colors now being over, I'm trying to find my rhythm once again in The Sims 4. So thank you all so much for tuning into this part of Cottage Living. If there's anything you would like to see, if there's anything you feel like I may have like lost touch with or you were like, hey, you once talked about this and then you never did it, please let me know because I have a head like a sieve right now. Let me know if there's anything you would like to see. I appreciate you all and I will speak to you all in the next one. Bye now.